Hello, and welcome back to the N Squared World Domination Society. Today, we will be building the timer that appears in the bottom right of my Thing Explore time lapses, such as this one. Alright, first things first, solder a 24 pin dip socket onto your breadboard. All parts are included in the description, and there is a circuit diagram at the end of the video as well. Go ahead and add an Arduini. Next, take a 5 volt regulator and solder it onto your board as shown. Then, solder the switch into place. As well as the power supply to the ground. Then, connect the Arduini to the power supply. Remember there is a wire guide at the end of this video if you get a bit confused with my instructions. Next, connect pin 11 to the positive with a 10k resistor. After that, connect pin 11 to ground via a button. This is the timer's pause button. Finally, solder the 7 segment serial displays into place. You only use 6 wires to connect both displays, so don't attach a wire to each slot on the display. Here's some proof that the timer counts up in real time before I show you a 24 hour time lapse of the timer. It can count for 99 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds before resetting to zero. I use the pause button, which is also the resume button, to stop the timer in between prints so I can have multiple time lapses over a few days without having to reset the clock. Incidentally, to reset the clock, just turn it off and on again. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. Thanks for watching.